What is SEO? Before I tell you what SEO is, I'm going to tell you about something that exists on all search engines that very few people know about. Let's say you're searching for something on Google and you press the enter key. You'll get a whole bunch of results on a web page. But if you scroll all the way to the bottom, now trust me, this is going to blow your mind. If you look there right at the bottom, you'll see this extended Google word with numbers underneath. Now, if you look closely, you will see that those numbers from two onwards, do you know what they are? They are other pages with search hits for the keywords you are searching for. Crazy, I know. People don't know that there's a second page, let alone even multiple pages for the things you search for. Well, even if you knew they existed, very few people even go to page number two or three or so on. And that's where SEO becomes so important. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. And this is the strategies that are used to ensure that your website has a high ranking placement on the search results page of most search engines. You basically want your page to be on page one for any search engine if they are searching with keywords that relate to your website. Otherwise, your website could never be found. This newish system has created new jobs that didn't even exist a couple of years ago, like search engine marketer, marketing analyst, SEO manager, digital marketer, or social media manager. All these careers revolve around getting your company's website seen, especially before your competitors. Search engines make use of a search engine web crawler, which is a program that searches and indexes new and updated web pages and follows the links on these pages to find new URLs. It then adds the URLs of these pages to its list of pages to crawl. It can read the contents of each page it crawls and saves a copy of the content in a giant database of all the pages the search engine has crawled. It then uses a complex algorithm to determine how popular, which is the quality of the links pointing to the web page, and how relevant, which is the keywords in the web page, that the page is in order to rank it, which we hope is higher compared to the other pages. If you know basic HTML code, then this part may interest you. There are simple techniques in HTML that you can use to help improve the chances of your website being ranked higher. You can post keywords in the web page title and URL by using the title tags. Use H1 tags, which is the tag used for headings, and try use your main keywords in the first 100 words of your web page. When using images, rename your images so that the keyword is in the file name and make sure to include the keyword in the alt attribute of the image tag. The alt attribute is used to provide alternative text for an image, but search engines use it to also determine the content of the image. Use meta tags. These provide metadata or information about the web page. Specifying the description, keywords, and even the author in the metadata can help inform search engines. Other techniques include making sure all the links work correctly and use links to other related external websites. Use sitemaps, which is a file that lists all of the URLs on a website to ensure all the pages on your website are discovered and indexed. Website folders can contain a robots.txt file, which you can use to instruct search engines which pages or sections of the website should not be crawled or indexed. And find ways to get other websites, especially ones related to your keywords, to have links on their pages to your website. This makes your web page more relevant. And there you have it. You now know how to improve the success of your website by using these strategies to help your pages be seen by search engines. How does it feel to be seen by Google? For more computer terms, go to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long Computer Terms. Leave a like, leave a comment, or let us know which computer term you want us to do next. And please share us with your friends. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.